So sometimes things don't pan out quite the way you wanted them to. Uh, I had actually quite a bit of trouble with the device tree as it was and it kept giving me errors about different libraries and different problems that I was having there. And so what's interesting is when we started this project we never actually built that Wico um, team win recovery project tree by itself to make sure that it actually built. And uh, that's probably where I should have started. So I want to I want to show you this so that way you can see it as well and perhaps this will save you a lot of time in the future if you're watching through this video series. Um, when you start when you decide to you're going to take a tree as a guide and build from it, you should try to build it first to make sure that it does build on its own. And the problem that I actually found was that uh, it, it did not um, actually build on its own. Um, that uh, Let me get back to it so I can show you. That uh, Wico tree that I was using for the Team Win Recovery Project, it didn't actually build, so it didn't, it didn't function. So this uh, this created uh, quite quite the conundrum. I was like, well, what's going on here? Why is this not working? And I tried to build the original and find out that it didn't. So what I ended up actually doing was, remember at the start, we had talked about several different phones that were available that were very similar. And the actual phone that I had stolen the recovery from and was able to modify a little bit and flash the phone was from the U Unique. Um, not an identical phone, but very close, has the same Snapdragon processor, uh, same screen size, and uh, I was able to uh, utilize its recovery um, on the phone that I have right now. So what I did is I went and got its Team Win Recovery project, and I downloaded that, and then I built it, and it actually did, in fact, build, and then I decided to rebase my tree off of that. So essentially what I did is I went through and just like we did in the previous videos where I compared between the Yalabi is the is the U unique uh, the Yalabi and look at its board config dot make and edit my board config dot make to um, match that as well and so uh, so a few changes there that uh, were needed and so now I'm just going through and uh, doing a little bit of cleanup um, it needs this recovery etc uh, team win recovery dot fs tab okay I see the problem here so let's see recovery root etc that's here. Recovery root etc. There we go. So uh, I didn't have it saved as the right place. I'll try finishing this up now. But uh, so sometimes I wanted to show you that uh, I actually failed in my initial attempt and I wanted to show this to you so you don't get discouraged if you if you're trying to build by using a tree as a guide uh, and then it doesn't work out and it fails that's okay you can keep working on it or you can try rebasing off of something else that's also similar and seeing if that works since I was able to to get this recovery onto the phone from the unique uh, and it, and able to you know modify it a little bit and make it flash and work then we can actually uh, you know, modify its tree and hopefully make that work as well. So, uh, so hopefully that will be useful. But the the key takeaway that I want you to know from this is if you're going to use a device tree as a base as a guide for you to uh, work off of, make sure that it does build in and of itself, which I did not do at the beginning. And here we are, you know, several videos into it, and uh, I ran into a huge snag and I couldn't get through, and so I ended up having to rebase my entire tree off of something else that did build successfully. So uh, don't make the same mistake as me and uh, hopefully you will uh, go on to do bigger and better than myself. So just looking forward to seeing the outcome of this and how it works now with the rebase tree based off the U Unique instead of the Wico uh, Ridge 4G.